right, guys. So here we're going to talk about how to take your character turnaround, um, although done two-dimensionally, um, either in Photoshop or some other drawing program, or maybe Procreate, uh, something like that. Or if you're doing it on your sketchbook, um, you will need to take an image of that and um, make sure it's a nice flat image and um, download it to your computer and you'll open it up in Photoshop. Uh, it does need to be at least starting off at least something like a uh, JPEG format. So we'll start with this one right here. Good example from a student from last year, Helena. And what she had done is taken um, a the assignment doing the five um, pose character turnaround, and she's done it digitally. You can all do this. You can all do this even if you did the five poses on your sketchbook. And she copied poses and used the transform tool to flip them around so that they appear to be um, symmetrical on both sides. So she has a you know perfectly symmetrical um, character. Uh, you can just see that um, this character right here in this front three quarter pose turning to the left is the same as this one turning to the right. It's just been transformed and flipped over. So. Same drawings, just a little bit of uh, Photoshop trickery to, to make that happen here. Um, so first step we have to do is make sure that we have each of these on a separate layer. And so the best way to do that is to use your crop tool and what we we'll start to do is crop each of these. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to crop starting with the front pose here. That's always a good starting point for me, keeps me organized. So what I'll do is adjust this and I'm going to zoom in so I have better control over where this is going. I don't want to prop too far into another drawing like that. And this is fine. So when I go to crop this, I'll say yes, it crops it. And what I'm going to do is save as, I'm not going to save it, just go to save. I'm going to go to save as, I'm going to go to, um, I'm just going to name it turnaround number um, one. And I'll, it says I already exists because I did this earlier. And I'm going to say yes, replace it. And I'm going to say to um, keep that as high quality and go OK. All right. So that's number one right there. Um, so what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to close this down and I'm going to open, oops, this one right here, open this one back again, and then I'm going to crop the next view. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to crop this one right here and adjust it and keep on going. Computer's taking some while for some reason. There we go. Now it's all showing. And I'm going to save this as two. It already exists, I know. And then yes, and hit OK. All right, so I'm going to keep doing this um, until I have all of the different the different versions um, saved as their own little slice from the original, and then we'll go on to the next step. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause and kind of fast forward to the next next part here. All right, so I just finished going through all those steps and I cropped all the way from one through eight since there were eight turnaround poses in this particular example. And I'm gonna close this last one down after I saved it. We'll see that I have it saved as number eight right here. I'm going to close that down. And now what I want to do is I'm going to open. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to open. I'm going to just create new. And this is fine. Um, doesn't really matter for this. 12 by 12 inches, 300 pixels is, is all good. I'm just going to create that. And now what I'm going to do here is actually open. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to import. And actually, I'm going to go to scripts. 
And then from scripts, I'm going to go to load files into stack. And it says, okay, where are the files are? Where are the files that you want to load? I'm going to go to browse. And I'm going to choose in my folder where I have all my images saved. I'm going to click on image number one. And I can see I have all of them to image number eight right here. So I'm going to shift and click one through eight and click OK. And I want it to attempt to automatically align the source images. And I don't need that. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll see over here off to the side, it's going to start loading each of those images into a stack. There's only eight, so it's not going to take very long. So now it's all done. So now I have eight layers, eight images. Each one is a different pose from where it was before. And so they are all located right behind each other. Now what you can do here is align them a little bit better if you feel the need to. So I can take my transform tool and I can adjust these and center them because Photoshop doesn't always line them up perfectly. So I'm going to turn off this one, turn on the next one. And just slide them over. I'm looking for that little pink guide to tell me that it's it's lined up now. So there, there, and keep on going all the way down. And what that's going to do is when I create my turnaround, they're going to be pivoting around kind of a vertical axis rather than, and I think this is the one that they're all centered on. Um, rather than being shifty all the way, you know, from left to right. So that should work. I'm going to turn on my uh, first layer right here. And first thing I'm going to do is, uh oh, a little bit frozen. So I'm back. Apparently I needed to change out the battery in my mouse. So what I need to do now is make sure that I have my timeline open down below. So I'm going to go to window and make sure that you have this checked right here for timeline. I already have it checked, so I'm good to go. Next thing you want to do is click on these double this arrow right here and make sure that you have this checked, create frame animation, and then you're good to go. Now what I'm going to do is click on create frame animation button. And notice that it puts this right over here. This is my first frame. Now I want to go over here to these little hamburger menu. And I'm going to click on that. And what I want to do is make frames from layers. So I have all these layers over here. I want to make each one of those into a frame. So I'm going to say, yes, I want to do that. And now I have my eight images all lined up over here. So if I click on each one, I'll see that it rotates around. Okay, so all that looks good. Um, but notice that they're all for zero seconds. So if I go to play it, that is way too fast. So what I want to do is select each of these control or shift select these layers here. And then I click down below on the time and I'll choose maybe like 0.2 and play this. That plays pretty good. I know that my images are pretty well aligned because they all pretty much line up the way they should. She's pivoting around kind of one center point and that's good. Now, let's say I wanted to keep rotating over and over and over again. That, that's fine. You can do that and you can go um, change this right here where it says once, change it to forever and play it. And it's going to keep going over and over and over again. Now this is good if you have eight images in your um, character turnaround and your character does a full 360 turnaround. It's going to look kind of weird um, if you have a five pose turnaround. So some things that you can do for that, say if it's turning 180 and then all of a sudden it slips over and then turns 180 again, what you could do is make it 
um, turn a 180 and then turn back, kind of reverse into back to the same original pose that you started with. So I'll kind of demonstrate what I was what I'm talking about with that. So let's see here. I have starting here and I'm ending on the front pose. So what I can do here is take these first poses. And what I'm going to do is copy these poses. Um, I'm going to copy these frames. I'm going to select the last one. And then I'm going to um, paste frames. I'm going to paste them after my selection. See, I have the last one selected. So I'm going to say OK. So now I have these posted like this, right? So right now it's not doing anything any different than it was before because it's, it ends with this and then continues with, with this one again. Well, what if I turned it around and had it go the opposite direction? So I'm going to have it go from here back to this pose. Well, I can rearrange each one individually or I can select these last ones that I just pasted, go to the hamburger menu, reverse these frames. So now it'll go from here to here, here, and back the other direction. So let's see what that looks like. There we go. So I see that I need to add one more frame in there and that's fine. I can take this frame right here I can copy this frame and I can paste this frame, paste that frame after my selected frame. And now I can hit play and rotate 360 and then rotate back the other direction 360. And all that's good. And I have it looped for forever, which is fine. So this is ready to go. I'm um, ready to turn this into a GIF. And so what I'm going to do is go to File. I'm going to go to Export. Save for Web Legacy, because GIFs are essentially web-based animations. I'm going to go to a preset here of um, GIF 128 Dithered. It's already at GIF right here. Um, this is fine. Colors, I have at 128, and that's fine too. All of this looks good. Um, no transparency, so it's not going to show these transparent parts here. And 100%, it's going to be going forever, which is good. And then I'm going to hit save. I can preview it here and make sure everything looks good. So she rotates both ways. Now, if you have a five pose um, animation, yours would be rotating one way and then back the other direction. And I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and save. Um, let's see here. I have untitled GIF. I already have a, a sample um, saved right there. So I'm going to do here is go to turn around sample number two and save it here. And make sure you know where you're saving. I have a folder labeled for character turnaround and I'm going to hit save. So let's go locate that folder now. I'm going to go to my desktop, animation, character turnaround, and I have turnaround sample two right here. So when you go to open it, it should open in a browser and it should play for you just like that. And that's perfect. And then what you'll do with that is um, save this to your Google Drive and you can share that link with me and post it in Schoology. And that's pretty much it. So thanks a lot, guys.